What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. So I'm kind of branching off from my normal products I've used up slash empties videos. And today I just wanted to talk about like superstar MVP products I've used up in my empties box. Ones that I would repurchase, ones that I think are like the standouts of the box. And this idea came from a girl that I watched on TikTok the other day that was talking about her products that she used up. And she was saying, you know, these are products I feel like I'm an expert on. Like this isn't just a first impression because that's all we see. I've tried these thoroughly and I can give you like a full on, full fledged review. I think that there's this frustration with the beauty community where everyone is so tired of not just overconsumption, but also hearing about something one time or getting like a wow, you know, super overly enthusiastic reaction and then they never see that product again. And you know, they're not really giving thorough reviews, they're just showing you what something looks like initially and moving on from it. And whenever you use up a product, I do feel like you really become an expert on that product because, you know, especially if it's one that you you know it just it takes a while to use it up you've used it through different seasons you know maybe the entire year or at least a few months of it you know you've seen it on its good days and bad days you know its consistency its fickleness so yeah this is kind of just an extension off of my normal empties videos that I unfortunately only do like once a year. Do you guys still even like empties videos? Like I never see anyone do them anymore but whenever I do them they get a lot of views so someone's still watching them. So yeah, I don't know how many products we're gonna talk about today yet. I'm just gonna pull some out, we'll see. We'll see as we go how many comes out. But yeah, these are products that I fully recommend. I stand by them, they're consistent. So let's get into it. The first one is this Hard Candy Chilling Wonder Powder. If you've been around here for a little while, you'll know this is one of my favorite loose powders of all time. You can find this at Walmart, it's under eight or nine dollars it's i think it's definitely less than that actually but this actually isn't fully empty but i just feel like it's too old like i feel like this started making my skin look kind of dry here i am talking about something like a negative about it and it's supposed to be like standout superstar mvp status i mean you guys understand like whenever a product gets old and this is old it starts giving signs and cues that it needs to be tossed out it's a very hydrating powder like it's not one that ever looked like chunky on my skin or thick or heavy or overly powdery like it mattifies but it's almost like it it's like a time release mattification like it really kind of maintains a little bit of like a satiny finish or like maintains whatever you got going on underneath which i really really appreciate but it does have that like slightly cooling sensation when you first put it on especially if you use a brush but I, I started losing that towards the end of using this so that's how I know like it's it's time to get a new one but this is one I will test out with new foundations because my philosophy is if a new foundation doesn't work with this it ain't gonna work. It's consistent, like it never failed me um, up to the end anyway. It's completely translucent, so it's not gonna show up on your skin, like it's not gonna give you a white cast or anything. It's gonna work for all skin tones. It is so mega finely milled and smooth and silky. Like it's one of those that, it, there's no talkiness to it at all. Like the grain of it is so, so fine. And it truly improves the wear of everything that I use with it without making my face look like powdery and suck dry. It's just one of the best. The next thing I have is a shampoo. This is from Heritage. You can find this at Walmart. This is the Out of My Hair Gentle Daily Shampoo. And it's got a bunch of claims about being like sulfate free, phthalate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, vegan. It's a very like salon quality drugstore brand in my opinion. This performs for me a lot like some of my favorite high-end salon quality shampoos like my Matrix uh, Mega Sleek Shea Butter Shampoo. It performs so similar to that. I don't think it's got similar ingredients necessarily, but it just makes my hair feel the same way that those do. And what I mean by that is it kind of has this conditioning aspect to it. Like it really nourishes your hair before you go into conditioner and helps to detangle it. Like whenever I use this, I feel like my hair is so much less tangly and it just, it brushes out really easily after I get out and whenever I use it I just feel like my hair it stays like cleaner looking longer like it feels like it stays fresher longer and you know what I really hate this is a little side note I saw a video the other day from a professional hairstylist that was talking about products from her professional opinion that she didn't like and she put in heritage products just as a whole the brand heritage she said that she didn't like it from her professional standpoint and in the comments people are saying like there was a bunch of people saying why don't you like heritage and she would reply and just say oh it just didn't work for my hair really you're gonna come at it from a standpoint of oh for my professional opinion this isn't good when in actuality you just didn't like it and that's how it is 
for like everything. I've tried Joyco products I don't like. I've tried Kenra products I don't like. Matrix, Paul Mitchell, Redken. Like there's tons of Redken stuff I hate. But I would never say from a professional standpoint, which makes it feel like it's inherently bad. Like there's just, you know, horrible ingredients in them. It makes it seem a lot worse than what it is, you know? That's one of my biggest pet peeves on TikTok nowadays. Like people use their professional career or like how long they've been doing something in that field as justification and validation that you shouldn't use it either. I, just, I think that's totally unfair. Everything works so differently for everyone. So if there's something you want to try, no matter if it's high end, low end, drugstore, salon, whatever it may be, check it out. Like it doesn't matter what this professional says or this professional says, because you'll realize that every professional in every industry and in every field has different opinions and different bias and comes from a different standpoint. Hairstyles, for example, look at things differently than trichologists. And it's the same damn field looking after the same damn thing. You got two different industries or, you know, fields of industries that completely disagree about one topic. And it just, it's mind boggling to me. This is truly one of the best moisturizing, hydrating sunscreens I've ever tried. Like if you're looking for a sunscreen that gives you that glass skin, dewy, radiant, juicy, plump looking skin, this one. This is the Jula Beauty No Excuses SPF 40 Invisible Sunscreen Gel. Not only does it look absolutely amazing on the skin, but it's clear. Like it is completely invisible. You cannot see this. So this is going to work for literally every skin tone, every undertone. Like it looks like a serum. I can see it's working really well for someone that reapplies sunscreen throughout the day, like every two or three hours, um, particularly on top of makeup. Look at my hand already. Like you can see the glow. Like it looks like I've applied an oil, but it's not oily whatsoever. Like it does doesn't make me like oily or greasy or shiny or anything like it's just it's truly so nourishing and hydrating and moisturizing also this works really really well under foundation and makeup it never peels it never breaks down it never causes my makeup to melt faster or like not last as long by far one of the best glowy radiant glassy sunscreens ever. Another shampoo I've got is this Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth, it says. The same thing goes for this one as what I said with this one. I might like this one better than the Heritage one though. This is a really, really good conditioning shampoo. Like it really feels like you've conditioned before you've done so. I just feel like I have really good hair days whenever I use this, like after I use this. And the ingredients list is actually pretty, it's pretty impressive. Like they've got a lot of really good extracts and oils in here. So it's not like they're at the very bottom of the ingredients list. Like they're actually pretty high up. And can't attest to how it makes my hair grow or anything because I mean, I've only used it for a few months, but it's so good. The next thing I have is a cleansing oil. So this is the Hada Labo uh, Goku, Goku Gen Oil Cleansing. I've become like a cleansing oil connoisseur. And I really like this one. Like this is one that just melted everything down so, so quickly. Like it was very fast acting. I don't feel like I really had to work at it to melt my makeup down. And it was just a really good cleansing oil. It lasted a very long time. I think this lasted me at least six months and that's using it almost every single night. So this is my favorite face mask of all time. If you were to tell me like, okay, you got one pick, you can only use one face mask for the rest of your life, this is the one that I would choose. This is the I'm From Honey Mask. So the texture and consistency of this, there's not really any in here, but you can kind of see like, it looks just like honey. Like it looks like a warmed up, honey consistency. So that's what it feels like on your face too. And this is one that I would say, no matter what your skin type is, no matter what your skin concern is, your skin issue, what you're dealing with, this will target all that. Like if you've got acne, if you've got eczema, if you've got dry skin, oily skin, this is something that when you take it off, it feels like it's still on there. Like it feels like you've got residue on your skin because your skin feels so extremely magically soft and smooth and just nourished. This is one that I can use at night and then wake up the next day and my skin just looks like I've done something. Like I went to the spa, it looks radiant, it looks glowy, it looks just juicy and plump and moisturized. Like this really is a great addition to a skincare routine in my opinion. This is a must have for me. So let's see, we're at six products. Let's do a few more. The Elf Lash It Loud Mascara. This is such an amazing mascara. I've already got one in use and then I actually used it today in conjunction with another mascara. My makeup breakdown will be down there in the description box, by the way. To me, this is the exact same thing pretty much as a benefit their real mascara. 
mascara, which was huge in like the 2010s. It has like a little ball tip at the end. So it's really good for getting in the inner and outer corner or your lower lashes and just, you know, kind of being precise with it. But I love the effect that it gives. It gives a lot of separation, but also volume, length, like it, it doesn't clump too much. Like it just gives you really like wide open doll eyes and it builds very, very well. Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So um, I've really been hurting since this left my collection. I need it in my collection like yesterday. Ever since it left my collection, I feel like my makeup just hasn't, it hasn't worn the same. Like I, I need this for my face. It really helps at improving the wear of your makeup. It doesn't like overly mattify. It doesn't add too much dewiness or radiance or anything. Like it really doesn't affect the finish of your makeup that much. It just kind of maintains what you have, maybe kicks up the hydration a little bit, but it mainly just improves the wear of your makeup. So if you're looking for something Something that you know gives you that glossy look this won't do that but again this is one that is a trusted product like if I'm testing out a new product like for my face I'll use this and if it doesn't wear well with this it's not gonna wear well. This is a holy grail for me. Number seven, Full 360 Ultra Mascara. I've again talked about this so many times on my channel. I feel like this was kind of one of my it products of 2022. I talked about this in my Best in Beauty 2022. I talked about it throughout the year. This is one of the best mascaras I've tried in a very long time. It is such a good building mascara. Like it truly never stops building. If you were to apply this at six o'clock in the morning and then you came home from work and you wanted to go out clubbing or go out to the bar or something and you didn't want to take your entire face makeup off then you could reapply this and really just enhance your eyes even more and just kind of amp up your lashes to where it looks fresher it gives me volume and thickness and fullness and length and that really pretty like false lash doll-eyed look without looking spottery and goopy this it should not be overlooked. The LA Girl HD Pro Coverage Foundation. I did a video a few years back, my favorite foundations, and this was in there, and this is still one of my favorite foundations of all time. But for some reason, I kind of treat it like it's an expensive product, and I don't know why, because it's like six or eight bucks. Like, it's very cheap. I kind of put it on this like pedestal where, oh, you only use it if you wanna look good, like if you're going to a special event, which you never do, you only use it for special occasions or when you wanna make sure your face looks good. For every other day, you just try stuff that you're, you're just testing stuff out. What is wrong with me? This is a full coverage foundation. It's dewy, it's radiant, but it lasts. Like it really lasts all day long. I've actually got this in my freelance kit. Like this is actually the foundation I use on every skin type, every age, like this works phenomenally on every person that I put it on. Like the way it blends out, the way it builds up, the way it layers and sits on the skin and doesn't emphasize texture, doesn't emphasize dryness, the way that it's so glowy and beautiful and radiant and juicy, but it also doesn't like melt down and make people shiny throughout the day. Oh, it's bougie. This is one of the most beautiful foundations and one of the most universal working foundations I've ever tried. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it there and leave you wanting more, hopefully. So once again, if you wanna see more videos like this, then please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. Here's a couple more things for you to check out next. Just venture around, swim around, make yourself at home. Subscribe if you're not already and turn the notification on to always see my stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.